Okay, so if you are on this page, that means you did not get it correct the first time. So let's reread this question. Which words from the article are most opposite in meaning? Let's talk about opposites for a second. So let's look at that word opposite. So opposites, an example of opposites could be on and off. Opposites are opuestos, things that are different. Another example of opposites are light and dark. So opposites are like something that's the completely different than the other thing. Another example of something that's an opposite is up and down. One more example of opposites is happy and sad. Oops. So when you're thinking about which ones are opposites, I want you to think about both words. If you have rip and tear, if you rip a piece of paper or you tear a piece of paper, do those mean the same thing or opposite things? Think about turn and blow. If the tornado turns and blows wind, do those mean opposites? Are those opposites? Think about listen and watch. If you could listen to something or watch something, are, could those be opposites? Think about slowly and rapidly. Could those be opposites? Remember that slowly means you take a long time to do something and rapidly means you do something quickly. Remember listen means to use your ears and watch means to use your eyes. Remember that turn means to like turn in another direction and blow is what the wind does. Remember that rip means to break something like a paper or a fabric. And tear means to break something like a fabric or a paper. Which of these choices are opposites? Good luck!